Hey guys, um, are you being robbed by Sprint? Many people don't know what I'm about to tell you. How many people do you know that actually read and understand the contracts of, of any phone carrier for that matter or lease device or, or any type of uh, service like that? Well, I only know of one that is absolutely without any shadow of a doubt robbing people. Um, and they don't, I don't believe a lot of people know it. So I'm trying to, I, I'm just, I hope this video educates people on what's happening. If you're, if you have Sprint and you have a lease device or a lease purchase device, um, what Sprint's doing is if you've got a lease purchase device, um, their lease, say the lease is for 18 months or 24 months or however long that you agree to the lease for, um, they have it set up to where they, there's always just a few dollars left on the phone at the end of the lease. Maybe 60 dollars $80, $100, something like that. Well, but what they don't tell you when you purchase, when you sign up for the lease, is that if you don't pay that little bubble at payment at the end to completely purchase the device they continue to take the lease amount which is 20 30 40 dollars whatever they were getting on the phone they continue to take that out and guess where that money goes straight into the pockets of sprint for nothing you don't get anything in return for it it doesn't go towards the device it doesn't go towards anything. It just goes into limbo. And that money is literally robbed from your pocket. So, I encourage everybody, check your phones. Check your account. Call them. Ask them. Say, ask them, say, is the lease up on my device? Is there anything left I need to pay on the phone? Is the money that I'm paying towards the device, is it, is it actually going towards the device? Or is the money just going into some limbo account? And my money's not, and I'm just giving somebody my money for free. Because that's what's happening with Sprint. It's a little loophole that Sprint uses to collect money from you for nothing and you're just giving it away to them so I hope this helps you and I hope that I was able to save somebody a few dollars um, and oh check devices that you don't even have anymore look for ask if there are any devices because they don't like they don't like share that information ask them if there are any devices on your account that you don't even use anymore that that you didn't pay that little bit left after the lease was up for the device and you're still making the lease payments on it the full lease payments and that not a penny is being applied to the device it'll sit there and just keep running and keep running like a like a taxi meter like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's insane thievery. So, I, I hope this video helps somebody. Um, if I can, you know, I encourage people to leave comments and, and let me know what you think. Because, you know, if, I, if I'm if i onto something here, I'd really like to know about it. You know, because I didn't know about it. I mean, I didn't I didn't understand the contract, really. I mean, I read it, but I didn't under, really understand it. You've got to be a, a you know, a, a legal dictionary to understand their lingo in the contract. So, um, but, you know, I finally do understand it. And it's, they're literally robbing people blind. So, I hope this video helps. Uh, I hope... Maybe somebody can get something out of it. Uh, good luck to you and God bless. And hope you have a good day.